What if the Magnificent Seven became the Magnificent Eight? And their mission wasn't a Western frontier, but a galactic war. Picture this, a ragtag group of gunslingers, now joined by the elusive agent Tony Spears, not riding off into the sunset, but rather blasting off into the stars. An interstellar conflict of epic proportions waits for them, a war that goes beyond earthly boundaries, beyond our understanding of existence. The Old West, with its dusty trails and lawless towns, has been replaced by the vast, unfathomable expanse of the cosmos. Their adversaries? Not bandits, not outlaws, but extraterrestrial forces beyond human comprehension. The stakes? Not gold, not land, but the very survival of humanity. As their vessel lifts off, leaving the familiar blue and green of Earth behind, they gaze out into the infinite black, dotted with distant suns. This isn't just a journey into space, it's a journey into the unknown, a voyage that will test their courage, their resolve, their very spirit. But they're not just any group of adventurers, they're the Magnificent Eight, a team chosen not just for their skills, but for their sheer grit and determination. The team that, when the chips are down, when the odds are stacked against them, will not back down, will not surrender. Each member, from the stoic gunslinger to the quick-witted con artist, from the silent sniper to the charismatic leader, and now, the enigmatic agent Tony Spears, brings their own unique skills and talents to the table. Together, they form a formidable force, a beacon of hope in the face of the darkness that awaits them. They know the path ahead won't be easy. They know there will be trials and tribulations, victories and defeats, but they also know that they're the best hope humanity has. So with a collective breath, they push forward, their hearts filled with courage, their minds focused on the task at hand. And so, our heroes stepped into the unknown, their sights set on a cosmic battlefield. The journey of the Magnificent Eight has just begun, but where it will lead them, only time will tell. Bold and brave, the Magnificent Eight embarked on their mission, only to face unforeseen trials. The team, an amalgamation of courage, intellect and prowess, found themselves in uncharted territory. The alien force they had set out to confront was far stronger than they had ever anticipated. Upon their arrival, their spaceship was swiftly detected and outmaneuvered. The aliens, with their advanced technology and strategic mastery, easily overpowered the Earth's finest. The Magnificent Eight were captured, their hopes of victory crushed under the might of their extraterrestrial opponents. They found themselves incarcerated in metallic jails, a grim testament to their failure. Their weapons were stripped away, their spirits dampened. Tied down and outgunned, they were at the mercy of their captors. The once mighty team was rendered helpless, their dreams of intergalactic heroism shattered. But the Magnificent Eight were not ordinary men, they were fighters, resilient and tenacious. Even in the face of overwhelming odds, they refused to give in. They began to strategize, to plan their escape. Their minds became their greatest weapons, their camaraderie, their strongest shield. Meanwhile, the aliens reveled in their victory. They were confident, assured of their superiority. They had managed to halt the conquest of the Magnificent Eight, to thwart the Earth's first major offensive in the Galactic War. Their triumph echoed across the cosmos, a chilling reminder of their dominance. Yet amidst the gloom of defeat, a glimmer of hope remained. Agent Tony Spears, the ninth member of the team, was still at large, his whereabouts unknown, his determination unbroken. He was the wild card, the unpredictable element that could turn the tide in their favor. But for now, the Magnificent Eight were trapped. Their mission had come to a standstill, the conquest had halted, the Galactic War seemed lost, the Earth's first line of defense was behind bars, their once bright future obscured by the shadow of defeat. Chained and overpowered, the Magnificent Eight found themselves in a galactic stalemate. In the midst of despair, a glimmer of hope, a message to Earth. Amidst the metallic confines of his extraterrestrial prison, Agent Tony Spears, the eighth member of a once magnificent team, managed to send a message back home. A beacon of hope, 
a call for help delivered across the vast expanse of space from a world unknown to our own. The message, transmitted through an ingenious manipulation of alien technology, was received in the heart of London. It rippled through the ranks of the authorities, reaching the highest echelons of power. An urgent call was made to their American counterparts, and a new rescue mission was set in motion. A spaceship, armed with the latest earthly technology, embarked on a journey to what felt like the edge of the universe. But the aliens, with their superior intellect and advanced weaponry, were prepared. As the rescue ship entered their territory, it was swiftly detected. The aliens outmaneuvered our best pilots, their spacecraft darting through the cosmos with an ease and agility that left our own efforts looking feeble. With barely a fight, our second chance at victory was lost, crushed under the might of the alien forces. For ten long years, the status quo remained unchanged. The Magnificent Eight, Earth's greatest champions, were left to languish in their alien prison, their mission to save the galaxy a distant dream. The message to Earth, once a beacon of hope, now served as a stark reminder of the seemingly insurmountable odds they faced. But even in the face of such adversity, the spirit of humanity refused to be extinguished. Agent Tony Spears, despite being outgunned, outmaneuvered and out of time, refused to give in. His tenacity, his refusal to surrender, was a testament to the indomitable spirit of Earth's champions. It was a message to the aliens, a message to his fellow captives, and a message to Earth. Despite their best efforts, Earth's champions remained captive, their mission a distant dream. But in the hearts of those back home, hope was not lost. For as long as there was a will to fight, there was a chance for victory. As long as there was a breath in their bodies, the Magnificent Eight would never give up. Their story was far from over. In the throes of captivity, an unexpected ally appeared. In the midst of Agent Tony Spears' imprisonment, a towering figure emerged from the alien shadows, a creature immense in size and seemingly brutal. This was no ordinary alien. This was Stryker, an intimidating sight, yet he held an unexpected kindness in his gaze. Starving and weak, Tony could barely stand, yet Stryker came to his aid, providing him with sustenance and a lifeline in the bleak abyss of his metallic jail. As the months passed, a bond began to form between Tony and Stryker. The silence of fifteen long years was broken by their unusual friendship, echoing through the space underground. Tony, who had not uttered a word or shaved in this period, asked Stryker for a pair of scissors. Stryker, understanding the significance of this request, agreed. This act of kindness marked a pivotal moment in their relationship, a sign that Stryker was on Tony's side. Stryker's assistance didn't stop there. Tony's curiosity about his fellow captives led him to ask about the other men, the rest of the Magnificent Eight. Stryker revealed that they were working for the aliens, helping to plant new crops in space. Tony's request to join them was met with a shake of Stryker's head. Tony's past actions had consequences. He was not permitted to join the others due to his past altercation with an alien. Instead, Stryker offered Tony a sliver of hope. He revealed the alien's sleep schedule, a crucial piece of information for planning an escape. On the 15th of October, the aliens would sleep for five hours, this was their window, their chance at freedom. Stryker also shared the alien's complex alphabet and calendar, a cipher of 125 characters written in reverse. Tony understood, if he could decipher their language and algorithm, they could defeat them. With Stryker's help, Tony held a key to their chains, a chance at freedom. The stage was set for a daring escape, the countdown had begun. The Magnificent Eight's second chance at victory was on the horizon, and it all hinged on an unlikely ally named Stryker. The hour of escape had arrived, their only chance at freedom. As the alien world outside descended into the alien equivalent of night, a hush fell over the metallic prison. A single synchronized breath echoed through the hushed silence. This was it. Agent Tony Spears and his unlikely ally Stryker had spent days, weeks, months even preparing for this very moment. The alien sleep cycle, a mere hour of rest each day, was their ticket to freedom. 
but on this day, the 15th of October by the alien calendar, they had a five-hour window, five hours to break free, to find the others, and to escape the alien world. Tony clutched the small pass card, the key to their freedom, in his sweaty palm. Stryker, with his brute strength and knowledge of the alien complex, led the way. They navigated through the labyrinth of corridors, their hearts pounding in sync with the ticking clock. As they moved stealthily, they came across the others, the rest of the Magnificent Eight. They were frail and worn, but the spark in their eyes was unmistakable. Freedom was within their grasp. With Stryker's help, Tony managed to free them. Together, they trudged on, their goal in sight. The spaceship sent from Earth years ago stood in the distance, their beacon of hope. They raced towards it, their every step echoing freedom. As they boarded the spaceship, they felt the weight of their chains lift, the engines roared to life, the sound a sweet symphony of liberation. The journey back to Earth was a blur, the euphoria of their escape dulling the harsh reality of their ordeal. But as Earth's blue hues came into view, they knew they had done it. They had escaped the alien world, against all odds. Against all odds, Agent Tony Spears and Stryker returned to Earth, bearing secrets of the alien world. They brought back more than just their freedom. They carried with them the alien alphabet, their calendar, and the small pass card. A treasure trove of information that could help humanity understand these extraterrestrial beings better. And perhaps, just perhaps, prepare for what was yet to come. Back on Earth, the magnitude of their mission became clear. Once Agent Tony Spears and Stryker touched ground, the world held its breath. The triumph of their daring escape was palpated in every corner of the globe. But this was no time for celebration. The aftermath of their mission was a daunting task that needed immediate attention. The Alien Pass Card, a small device that held secrets to the alien civilization, was handed over to the highest authorities. Top cryptographers were rallied to decode the alien alphabet, a perplexing script of 125 characters written backwards. The task was Herculean, but the stakes were higher than ever. As days turned into weeks, then months, the alien alphabet began to unravel. The linguists and cryptographers working tirelessly started making sense of the alien language. They discovered patterns, rules and exceptions, slowly but surely piecing together the puzzle. Parallelly, the alien calendar, with its peculiar 19-month cycle, was being deciphered. The 15th of the alien October, a day when the alien slept for five hours, was marked as a potential window of opportunity for a counterattack. It was a slim chance, but a chance nonetheless. The decoded information was an invaluable resource. It was the key to understanding the aliens, their culture, their vulnerabilities, it was the weapon Earth needed in this galactic war. The planning for a counterattack began, with strategies being drawn and weapons being built. The world was preparing to fight back. Meanwhile, Tony Spears, the hero of the hour, was hailed for his courage and resilience. His story of survival and friendship with Stryker, the alien, was an inspiration to all. Yet, he was plagued by a lingering thought. The rest of the Magnificent Eight, his comrades, were still out there, somewhere in the vast expanse of the galactic space. With this knowledge, Earth had a fighting chance. But what of the rest of the Magnificent Eight? The question hung in the air, a chilling reminder of the battle that was still to be fought. The war was far from over. The question remained, what happened to the rest of the Magnificent Eight? After a galactic war and a decade-long imprisonment, Agent Tony Spears had returned to Earth, but the rest of the Magnificent Eight were still out there, somewhere in the vast expanse of space. Would they ever return? Or were they forever lost among the stars, destined to toil in alien fields, planting otherworldly crops until the end of their days? The fate of the Magnificent Eight was shrouded in mystery. Their absence left a gaping hole in the heart of their home planet. The Earth was safe, yes, but at what cost? The sacrifice of eight brave souls, who had dared to venture into the unknown, to fight a war that wasn't theirs, and to face an enemy far more powerful than they could have ever imagined. Tony's return had brought hope, 
but it also brought a chilling reality into sharp focus. The Magnificent Eight were not invincible. They were human, fragile and vulnerable, yet their spirits remained unbroken, and this spirit was now Tony's guiding light, the beacon that would lead him back to his comrades, the alien's calendar, their complex alphabet, the hidden pass card. All these were clues that Tony had brought back with him, clues that could potentially unlock the secrets of the alien world and pave the way for the rescue mission. The aliens might have 125 characters in their alphabet, their words might be written backwards, but they were not undefeatable, and Tony was ready to decipher their secrets, to find a way to beat them at their own game. The task was daunting, the odds were stacked against him, but Tony was not one to back down. He had a mission, a purpose. He would save his friends, his companions, his fellow warriors. He would bring back the Magnificent Eight. As the sun set, a new mission dawned, the rescue of the Magnificent Eight. Their story is far from over, 